welcome back to another video. It is now nighttime here on the Fox River. I'm with my man Zach still from Fieldwise Outdoors. Check him out. We got Rick up there. We got Carter right here. We are going out right now, leaving out of Fox Point boat launch right now. We're gonna go uh, troll for some giant walleyes, hopefully land some giants for you guys. If not, you know, we should catch a bunch of eaters, but we're specifically targeting big fish. So we're hoping to get on some big fish for you guys. We'll give you some tips on what we're trolling, how we're trolling, and where we're fishing. Um, so you guys can get out here, do this yourself, you know, put some nice fish in the boat yourself. Stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss it. Fish that I was showing, showing you guys that little video on using custom P10s. All right, we just had a board just get smoked. Start backing up, start backing up, start backing up. All right, oh, there's one, there's one, there's one outside board. What an awesome little video here. Look at slow down the one, two, and I get two bites right away on both the inside boards because I also made a turn. All right, here's a look at that double, guys. Nice double. Don't worry about holding the pole, just reel. All right, we are hooked up with the first fish of the night. We've only been trolling for about, what, 10 minutes, guys? Just, yeah. Yeah, just got fully set up and we got one on. This is big. All right. Well, here. We're gonna give that to Rick. Yeah, here, Rick. All right. Just hold it for a second. Yeah, take the Give me the phone. Yeah, that feels heavy. Yeah, that's a big fish. All right, back up there. Rick, I gotta back up. I'm getting on your way. All right. This one's just a little guy. How do you know that? Hi, All right, Zach, you can finish reloading in. We're tag teaming it here. Rick's got a big one on, though. That board's just buried. Yeah, just keep reloading real slow. That's just a little nail. Oh, triple, triple, triple. Triple already. Can we get triple. That one? Carter, reel that one. Here, wait, 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 Carter. Stop, stop, stop. All right. All right, Zach, you want to help him? I'll get that fish off. All right, guys. Well, we'll be back in a second. We got a triple on. So this is going to get a little chaos, but I'm going to get this fish wait, off. And then we'll keep filming. Carter, you're fine. Oh, it's just a male. It's got it hooked weird. It's all right. Still get him, Zach. Well, we had a triple, we lost one oh, right behind yeah. the boat, but uh, yeah, it would have been three nice fish. Yeah, turn the clicker off, Zach. Cool. Got another double on. Yeah, we got double one, out. we got this one to go on the middle and that one on the inside. We're doubled up. Doubled up. Yeah, tighten it just a tad, not too much. All right. Well, we just landed Rick, so I'll show you guys that one in a second. Dude, it might be a big one, Zach. Lift up. Oh, no, it's just a smaller one. Got it sideways. Lift up, Zach. So what you got to do here on these boards, these are offshore. Or not offshore, sorry. These are only boards by Church Tackle. Clip it like that and get it off there. This is just a nice little nail coming in here. No big ones yet, just an average size here. Can we get the net? This net it. Alright, Carter. Can I net it? It's my big one. Isn't it big, diehard? Do yeah. you think it's big? He got it weird. He's got it under the chin. Alright, in the net. In the net. net. Alright, here's a look at that double, guys. Nice double. Getting other boards back out right now. Give you guys a little walkthrough. Got a double release you going go back. Ahead. Going back, Carter. Go. Here's goes Carter's. Okay. There goes the other one. All right, guys. Well, we just turned, and right on the right on the turn, that board went back. So that's a that's a big uh, trick here, guys. When you're trolling. I was getting in six feet of water, so I was seeing I was coming up a little shallow on my map here. So I hit a quick turn to the right really hard. And as soon as I hit that right turn to go deeper, that outside board shot back right away. Them fish like big turns. They like speed ups, they like slow downs. 
So when you're trolling, always mess with your remote, speed up, slow down. Oh, we just got hit on the other side. So always speed up, slow down, turn back and forth. That is gonna be your best way to get bit when you're trolling. That's just a little tip to throw in there, you guys, so you guys know that when you're out trolling. And uh, I'll give some more tips here in a second. All right, so this one is an offshore board. This one's a little different. I got a mix of boards right now. So this one is hard to see, but you got to unclip it here, which is a little tighter than the walleye boards. I got this one double wrapped back here so our board doesn't come off. Boom, I know that's hard to see. And you always want to hold that line and let go of it. And we will grab the net. It's off? Yeah. Hold on. Okay. All right, guys. So here's a little trolling tip. You can see all them fish on side imaging off to the right side. Um, there's also some off to the left. I have the brightness down on my hummingbird. Sorry. Um, but otherwise, mainly what you're trying to troll here, you can see where we just made our pass, is down the edge of the brake line. Anywhere from 10 to 7 feet. I try to keep the boat in 7 to 10 feet, and I have some of my boards running 3 feet down, some of them running 5 feet down, and some of them running about 7 feet down, closer to that bottom range. So you want to spread it out, spread your lines out, get them out wide, have a nice even spread and then you will dial in what is working best. Another big thing is speed. Right now we're going one five, one six, and what all I've been doing is I've been taking my troll norm over here, and I'll slow down to about one two, and run at one two for about a minute or two, and I'll speed back up a little bit. And them are triggering bites. That slowing down and speeding up is triggering bites. So in this cold water, you kind of want to run anywhere from about one mile an hour to one six ish. Net, like normally slower. Slower is usually better in this cold water. The water is still really cold right now. It's only 38 degrees. Um, so you want to be trolling slower. You want to be working your bait slower when you're casting. Everything in that sort to get bit more. Once that water starts warming up around 40 degrees, get closer to that spawning temp, you can troll faster, you know, one six to two miles an hour, have a better chance of getting fish. But right now, the fish are not as active. Oh, we got a fish on right here. Look at that. Oh, and it's off. Yep, that sucks. But look at it, I slowed down to one two. Perfect example of what I was saying. Slowed down to one two, instantly got bit right after I slowed down. But it obviously came off. So stay tuned, we're gonna show you guys some more footage. Hopefully land a giant. Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one outside board. What an awesome little video here. Look at slow down to one, two, and I get two bites right away on both the inside boards because I also made a turn. So when I made that turn, that fish went on that inside board that is pulling harder because when you turn like that, whatever way you turn, your inside of your turn is always gonna pull harder. Then, or your outside of your turn, sorry, is always gonna pull harder than your inside of your turn. But this one, this inside one might be getting bit too, so. But that outside usually always gets bit on the turn. All right, so we just landed that fish that I was showing you, showing you guys that little video on, using custom P10s um, from the Real Shot. So head over to Real Shot if you wanna grab some P10s. They got a bunch of customs, a bunch of nice assortments for you guys. Um, to troll with out here on the Fox, on the bay. Um, P10s are great everywhere I troll. So that is the best stick bay hands down that I say you could troll with. And that's all I'm running is P10s right now. But we just had another fish go on the outside board, shot back as we were netting this fish and it came off. So three fish we had on, we landed one, but we had down three fish in two minutes. So that's awesome. Get a look at that fish real quick. Nice walleye there. Oh yeah. All right, we got another one on. See that board going out of the spread, bouncing around out there, shooting back. Tighten it up probably a little bit, Zach. Other fish on here. Yeah, this is a big fish. Carter said it's a big one. It's a big one, Carter. It's, 
Carter, how do you like trolling out, out on the Fox River? Good. <laughs> Nice fish in the net. Yeah, buddy. Big one. Pretty good one. Yeah. I told you it'd be big. That's, that's a big fish. one. That's why. I was... That's a big old fat female. That's what we're after. We want that's... bigger than that, but that's a nice fish. Good job, Carter. <laughs> Gonna squeeze through the bridge here, guys, and keep going up river. All right, we're hooked up with another one. Trolling through seven feet of water. Look at all them walleye stacked on side imaging there. We're just up past the bridge going 1-2, just like before. I was going 1-4, slowed us down to 1-2, made a couple little turns, and uh, we lost one, and now we got another one on here, so. All right. Got another one coming to the net. <laughs> Nice fish. Average size 20 and 21 inch fish. Alright, we just had a board just get smoked. Go shooting back. Yeah, dude, that thing that thing's going back quick. Alright, so Zach is gonna take this board off. We think this is one that's bigger. It's either really big or it's hooked weird, but it's stand down, so we're hoping it's a big one. Oh, lift up, yeah, back up, back up, back up. All right. Getting that board off. Nope. Get that nut extended. Okay, real. There goes Zach. Oh yeah, this is a heavy fish. It might be hooked weird. Uh, but... Yeah, it's hooked weird. It's a nice fish, but it's not a giant like we thought. This feels so heavy. Fish. Oh, it is a nice one. Not a giant, but a 24 incher. Start backing up, start backing up, start backing up. Nice. That's a big one. Maybe 25. 24, 25. Gotta tighten that up. And that custom B10 from the real shot again. Got that thing choked. All right, guys. We got another one. I was just letting out that custom P10 that just got cranked with that big one that Rick caught. And this board went shooting back right away. As soon as I started letting the other one out, so I reeled that one in real quick. I land this fish, be two boards down, then we'll get these other two boards back out. But right now we're currently in six feet of water. Seems like shallow is the way to go. That usually is the way in the spring here when it's cold. Let's get this off here. Pull that pin. All right, net. Thank you, sir. All right, I gotta get up here. All right, Zach, just lift, lift, lift. Don't reel no more. It's going underneath. Where is it? Oh, dude, hog. Nice. All right, reel a little more. Oh, got him. Not as big as I thought, but another big, nice 23 incher. Got that thing just choked. Yeah, sure. Gotta get these other two boards in. All right, guys, Zach just let out this board. Literally, just let it out, and we got one on. <laughs> as soon as we let it back out. Fireworks are going off over Lambo over there. We've been catching a glimpse of them. They were pretty loud. But I just sped up. We're going one, three. Look at all them fish on side imaging. They're just loaded. Using Hummerbird mega, mega side imaging. It's absolutely phenomenal. As you can see here on the mapping, I'm cruising down the edge of the brake line here. Now I now we've been catching them shallower, so I'm keeping the boat anywhere from six to eight feet. And uh, yeah, our deeper side's been going off more now, but that's okay. All the baits are set 15 and 20 feet back from the board. Um, which is getting them down anywhere from three to five feet down. So they're real close to the bottom. A couple of the higher ones are right off bottom. But yeah, we're gonna land this fish.
Nice one, dude. Nice big team, yeah. That was pretty funny, guys. So, trolling motor was getting low, so I put on the kicker here. We got the kicker running. Got up to the right speed because we were going probably 0.9, almost one mile an hour. We said, hey, I got to get back up to 1.2, you know, 1.4, what well, we've been catching them at. 1.2 has been the most consistent. I get back up there, boom, one board goes. We lost them. As soon as we lost that one, boom, the other board goes. I set the hook, that one head shakes, that one came off. And I'm like, what the heck? Boom, that one goes. But we got this one, so. We would have had a triple. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. It looks like it's staying down. Oh, rookie mistake, it's all right. Just keep your own, Zach. That, bo that board will go right to that bay. Just keep the board out of the water. All right, let me see the net. All right, perfect. It's staying down, dude. Yep. Oh yeah, nice one. Keep it down, Zach. Keep her on. Keep her on. Keep her on. Keep her on. Just super fat. Got him. That's a solid fish. Another one on, baby. Just landed that other one. Still don't even have the line back in the water. You can see the P10 just hanging over the edge right there. this board back out after Zach just caught one right. and we just released that one and Zach's on with another. How do you like trolling in the Fox River buddy? Heck yeah. It's pretty insane. <laughs> a lot of action huh? Oh. <laughs> hey. The fish that Zach has on is coming in. Oh it might be bigger. Oh just a wild one. <laughs> yeah he's crazy dude. Yeah. Do you guys want to see some awesome content besides on my channel? Go check out Field Vise Outdoors channel. Yeah. Um, link will be in the description. He's got a bunch of videos from this trip as well. He uploads a whole bunch of content in the uh, Euclid area. So go subscribe to him. Check out his channel. He loves coming over to Green Bay with me. Right. Obviously, Carter, you've seen him catching a ton of fish in this video. <laughs> Carter loves to be over here as well, but uh, it's his nap time. We've been fishing for a while, so he's <laughs> he's beat. All right, guys, well, I lied. That wasn't the last fish. That white fish in the mouth was not the last fish. We got a double on here. As soon as we made this turn along the edge of the dam here, this board went back, the other one board went back. Rick's got one on and Zach's got one on. So you will see one or two more fish landed, and then that'll be the end of the video. For you guys to see who lands the last fish <laughs> of the video. Bring them in. What an epic night, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope this video helped you guys out. Um, you know, get out here, get some fish on your own, trolling. But a big tip I want to give out real quick is put some reflecting tape on your guys' boards. Put some lights on your guys' boards. Because we had some people today, like, that were trolling with no lights on their boards. And that is just so difficult and confuses people. You're just... You still got them? No. But 
we're gonna wrap it up on that note so like i said guys put some put some uh reflecting tape on your boards put some lights on your boards reflecting tape isn't enough i use that for the daytime but it also you know reflects off the lights here these are button lights from fleet farm they're 10 bucks don't go out and buy them you know you can do what you want to do but don't go out and buy them red and green lights for 10 20 dollars a light that's ridiculous button lights they're actually called button lamps at Sleeve farm 10 bucks for six of these stick right on your boards i get a little velcro pack that i also bought with them stick right on your boards perfect yeah but I, we are wrapping the video on that so thanks for tuning in guys it was an awesome video like i said go check out zach's channel field vice outdoors link will be in the yeah. description we absolutely smashed them trolling it, it's insane how many fish we landed and i think we got one on that board but yeah that one's got one <laughs> but I, the last board in has got a fish suspended over 20 feet of water but i'm not even going to show you guys that fish like i said thanks for tuning in like comment subscribe i'm gonna bring you guys more banger content here in the fox river soon we will be out on the other rivers and out on the bay i am running guided trips fully guided trips april there's only four dates left um may i only got like seven or eight trips booked for may so that's pretty open in march there's only about seven to eight dates left so if you want to get in get on the schedule why there is some open dates left otherwise keep watching these videos thanks for tuning in